Today we'll discuss about how to record video using Microsoft PowerPoint. First you need to open that Microsoft PowerPoint PPT. Okay, then what I will do? Okay, I will go to my file location. I will open. Okay, this is my PPT. Okay, get ready with respect to this PPT. Once you are ready, then you have to go to toolbar. Okay, this is the toolbar. Okay, in this toolbar, you have to choose the record option. Okay, this is the record option. Okay, then you should open that again A tools which are to be available. Choose this record. Okay, then select current slide recording. Whatever the slide which is to be get open, this particular slide I need to record. Once you clicked, then it will automatically open the another window. Okay, in this window, there will be an option record, stop, replay. Okay, then these settings are to be there in order to proceed for the camera on and the microphone on. Okay, that is with respect to that of the selection. Then once you made sure about the start video, then make your explanation. Then you have to click on stop. Once you stopped, then this replay will be get activated. Then play that video what you recorded. If you satisfied, then proceed for the next slide. If not, clear that content, then re-record, then proceed for the next slide. Always try to record slide by slide because you can clearly explain that particular slide properly. Then after this recording, what you need to do? You have to go for complete all the slides till the end. Then later there will be an appearance of end show. Okay, for this end show, you have to click on escape. Okay, then after that escape, then you will open that window. Okay, in this window, whatever the slide is thought to be there, we'll having the particular recording. Then you have to go for the file. Okay, this file section. Okay, then go for export. This is one method. Another one is that directly in this window which is to be available the export option. Then go click on this export video. Then choose the particular quality of the video. Then choose the path. Then you can click on save. Then obviously which will get generating the video what is to be required. Then we can proceed for the video recording. Okay, this is what this slide is to be there with respect to my PPT. Then I will choose the particular slide. Then here slideshow because the record option is there, not there here. Okay, so that I will go into slideshow. In this slideshow, record the slideshow. Okay, then I will choose this. Okay, then I will click on it. Then record current slide. Then I told this window will get open. In this window, record is there, stop is there, replay is there. Then I will click on record. Okay, but uh, before clicking on this record, make sure that is settings. The microphone is on or not. It is on. Next, camera because we want video caption also. Because of that reason, make camera on. Then the camera will be on. Okay, once this camera is on, make the adjustment. Okay, then you have to proceed for the recording. Okay, however you want. Then you go proceed for the recording. The topic is necessity of the constitution. The first question is what is the main purpose of the constitution? Correct answer is to protect individual rights and the freedoms. Because already which is having a content, what I will do, I will first clear this. Clear all slides. Okay. Then clear narration. Okay. Now it is whatever the video is to be available, those are removed. Now I will do what? This slide I will choose. Then I will go for current slide recording. Okay. Then what happens? There will be a record, stop, replay. Okay, then I will click on settings. Microphone is on. Then uh, camera I have to switch on. Now I switch it on. You can capable to see here. Here this video caption is there. Okay, then I need to make the adjustment. 
Yeah, however, I want. Now I did the adjustment. Then what I need to do? I need to go for recording. Okay, what I will click? I'll click on record. Then it will take time. Then one slide is appeared. Go your explanation. Topic is necessity of the constitution. Question that is, what is the main purpose of a constitution? Correct answer is to protect the individual right and freedoms. Then I will stop the record. Now recording is completed. Then I will go for replay. Whatever I recorded yeah. is correct or whatever explanation. Topic is necessity of the constitution. Question that is, what is the main purpose of a constitution? Correct answer is to protect the individual right and freedoms. Then I will stop the record. Okay, now what happens? Which will appear with respect to the next slide. Okay, this slide also what you need to do. If you satisfied that uh, what you recorded, then go for next. Okay, this slide I have to record. I will click on record. Then again, this slide will appear. Okay, you can use this slide show also. Then the constitution is necessary to preserve and promote the democratic principle. This is the right answer. I will stop. Okay, then I will go for replay. Use this slide show also. Then the constitution is necessary to preserve and promote the democratic principle. This is the right answer. I will... Okay, once you did this, okay, I will go for the next slide. Okay, whenever the content is to be there, you need to explain that particular slide. Click on record. Okay, the electrical network which is to be shown in this figure is power system network but i did mistake what i need to do i need to stop okay once i stopped okay then you have to close this window but i don't want whatever the recording i did that particular slide what i need to do i have to choose that particular slide go to record slideshow then clear clear timing on current slide then again you click clear you here don't click on all slide otherwise it will clear, clear the all the slide content clear narration on current slide okay this is your current slide okay for this caption will be get removed caption is removed okay you proceed for what re-recording okay go here record from current slide okay you click on because video is turned off because i have closed that window okay so that Make sure audio is on. Then whatever the camera is there, you have to make it on. Okay, then make your adjustment however you want. Keep ready, then go for record. The figure shown here is the power system network. What is power system network? The combination of the generation, transmission and the distribution for the purpose of the electrical energy consumption. This itself is called as a electrical power system. Then I will stop. Now I stopped, then I can replay. The figure shown here is the power system network. What is power system network? The combination of the generation, transmission and the distribution for the purpose of the electrical energy consumption. This itself is called as a electrical power system. Then I will. Okay, once you did, you will go to the last slide. Okay, then make this record. Then you have to go for the next slide. Okay, then which will show end slide show. Okay, to end that slide show, you have to click on escape button from your laptop. Then you have a recording. Okay, how it is showing here now? This recording. Okay, keep this is in mind. Whatever the recording, if you did for all the slides, what you need to proceed? You need to proceed for the export of the video. Okay, here direct export is not available. So that I need to go to file section. Okay, in this file section, okay, I will click, then I'll go to export. Okay, in this export, okay, in this export option, there will be a option which will be available. 
create a video. Okay, click on this create a video. Okay, after this clicking this uh, create video, then there will be a some other options. Okay, in this options, what you need to choose? The quality of the video, what is to be required? There will be a 4K, then 1080 pixel, 720 pixel, then standard. Then I will choose 1080. Okay, 1080 pixel is more than enough. Okay, once you did this, then you have to click on the create video. Make sure the whatever the option you have chosen is correct or not. Then after that, click on create video. Okay, once you did this, which will ask the path. Okay, the same path you can choose. You can rename it. Okay, I will click. I will give the uh, file name. Then I will click on save. Okay, once you did this, then what happens? Which can show its process here. Creating video PPT for presentation. Okay, then which will take the time. Okay, whenever you are preparing a PPT, kindly concentrate. Okay, if it is texture representation, obviously you are going to type, then you are going to prepare. But whenever you are going to make use of the PPT, which will have a pictures. Okay, this is what the electrical power, power system network picture. But this itself is an image. Okay, but I have taken this from one website. Okay, but what is the source where it is available that I need to showcase? Here I have shown here. That is source of this content is what? The National Energy Education Development Project. Okay, this is what the source you need to represent. Always, whenever you are using a particular pictures, which are to be available in any website, if you are using, kindly mention the source of that content. Don't forget to mention it. For example, any flowchart or pie chart, if you have downloaded, if you have used, kindly mention that where it is to be utilized. Okay, then process is completing here. You can able to see. Okay, here it is get completed. Okay, now it is get completed, then video will be available. Okay, then go to that particular folder, then I have given PPT for presentation 3. Okay, the first slide I didn't record it, so that the caption is not available. Okay, next with respect to that particular slide, the caption is above your explanation. Topic is necessity of the constitution. Question that is, what is the main purpose of a constitution? Correct answer is to protect the individual right and okay. This is how we need to make the recording. But once you generated this video, this alignment all needs to be adjust means go to again PPT. Okay, but uh, I want this PPT video at side corner. Okay, then I need to resize means I can resize. Then I will make fit. Okay, then I am satisfied. Then another this location I don't want. Okay, I will shift to here. Okay, then resize. Make it fit. Okay, these options are also be available. Okay, wherever you want, you can place this video content. Okay, then what is the size is to be required also you can do. Once you did all these adjustment after uh, watching your video, then again, one second recording is not required. Keep this in mind. Directly you go to file, then click on export. Then choose the create video, choose the fixer, then click on create window. Uh, that is video. That is enough. Okay, once you did this, then again the video will be get generated. You proceed for the same. This is the method how you need to proceed for the recording. Okay, then uh, I have my YouTube channel. Okay, this YouTube channel is learning online. Okay, in this channel, I uploaded one video. Okay, that is introduction to electrical engineering. Okay, this recording I did by the use of MS PowerPoint. Okay, this tool only I have used there. Then I have made the recording. That audio quality, picture quality, everything is good. Once you can go through this video, then you will understand the what is the quality which is to be required. Okay, then once you made the record, then whatever the content is to be there, get verified with respect to that playing of the video then further you can proceed for the uh, purpose what is to be required 